come back, come back, come back. Wow. The powers that be really do not want me talking about what it means to be a heretic. I'll tell you that. Well, that shit just got shut down. So we're back. We're going to try again. I was on a roll talking about the things. Come back, come back, come back. All the people come back. Hey, 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 I'm back, I'm back. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, so I'm gonna start over and I'm gonna do my intro for the podcast really quick. So for those of you that are joining live right now, I'm recording a podcast, doing it live, I was feeling the need for some energy. My projector self was needing some energy. Um, but I was talking about being a heretic and got cut off, of course, on the Facebooks. So um, we're gonna try this thing again and we're gonna dive into why it's so important right now to choose heresy um so here we go hey hey and welcome to another episode of the wealth witch podcast i am your host leah Steele, the wealth witch and today we are talking about heresy we're gonna talk about what it means to be a heretic and why it's so important right now in the evolution of humanity and the human race to tap into our own inner heretics and uh, stand up for our beliefs, our individual sovereign beliefs. So, the word heresy and the word heretic has such a negative connotation to it. It's such a polarizing topic. It's such a polarizing word. Um, and so before we go any further, I really wanna talk about the actual meaning of this word, um, of the word heretic and also of, of the word heresy. So heresy, the word heresy is any belief or theory that is strongly at variance with an established belief or custom. Um, and certainly with the rise of Christianity, um, we began to label people heretics that had beliefs or theories or teachings that were in opposition to the accepted propaganda of the church and religious organization as a whole like that that steamroller governing body <laughs> that was christianity um you know around the time of the canonizing of the bible um around the time of the spanish inquisition and and this was the time where we really began to label people heretics and it created dissonance um in communities and it's it's where our deep mistrust of each other really was strongly strongly anchored in particularly when it came to women right because we were labeling people heretics we were burning people at the stake um and but this word heretic it literally it was it was a blanket statement that was placed on anyone who held opposing opinions, thoughts, or teachings than the people who were in power. So like that word heretic, what it actually means is it, a heretic is a person holding an opinion at odds with what is generally accepted. But if we look at the etymology of that word, it literally means to choose. It's the ability to choose. And I just, I find this so fascinating because we don't want people to embody their right to choose. Because when we embody our right to choose, we step fully into our sovereignty and then we're not able to easily be controlled and manipulated. So the threat of being labeled a heretic um, really has kept people in line for 
thousands of years. <laughs> and so, and, and I'm, so I'm a five one projector in human design and the five line is called the line of the heretic. And it's over the last couple of weeks, I, I've really been diving deeply into why it is so important for me right now to fully embrace that five line in my human design. Um, and you know, I have a program coming out, um, called heretic. Uh, I'm really embracing and embodying this part of who I am because I know that I'm here to help people really clear up all the bullshit and all the things that are in the way of them embracing their right to choose. The heretic is, and especially in human design, like the heretics are the warriors and they're the guides. And I know that what I am here to do is guide humanity, particularly the people on the forefront of fighting this war against the soul of humanity, to guide them into stepping into their ability to choose what is right for themselves. So, I have the ability to see from a, from a very objective viewpoint and perspective, like the lighthouse, right? The projectors are the lighthouses, but I have the ability to see the things and the solutions that, that people haven't necessarily considered. Um, and that gift that I have that ability that I have, I have downplayed quite a bit up until now. And it is time for me to fully step into service of humanity in full embodiment of that five line, of the heretic, of the warrior, of the person um, that I'm here to be who is meant to be in service of humanity and to be universalizing messages of choice and sovereignty for the collective. So, you know, if you're, if you're listening to this and you're a fellow five line, um, <laughs> and if you're a five one in particular, and if you're a five one projector, uh, you may be resonating even more deeply with this, but you know, you don't have to be a five line in human design to embrace your inner heretic. It is time to step out of the status quo. It is time for us to stop complying. And that is really like the, the biggest trait of a heretic is non-compliance, non-compliance with the status quo. It's like, what do I actually desire and what do I know at a deep soul level is right for me. We came to this planet with free will and that free will, it is not granted to us by our governments. It is not granted to us by our religious organizations, by churches, by governing bodies, by um, agencies, regulatory agencies, that free will is our divine birthright. It, it isn't something that is that can be given and taken away from us. But right now, humanity finds itself in a place where it is being has been controlled and manipulated to the point that much of the collective, many of the beings on this planet believe that free will is something that is given to them or granted to them and, and that it's a privilege. It's not a privilege, it's your birthright. 
You are a free sovereign being that lives on this planet and you get to make choices that are in the highest and best good for you and your divine immortal soul. One of the things that I'm finding so fascinating right now is that, you know, we live in different parts of this planet and yes, different parts of this planet have different governments and there are different laws and there are different regulations inside those places that we live. But many of us have forgotten that we are simply here on this planet having a human experience. Our soul, who we actually are, the being of light that exists inside this meat vehicle that we, we ride around planet Earth in, um, this meat suit, our physical body, our vessel, who we are at our core is an immortal being of light. And we are not subject to rules and laws of man. The other thing that I think that we have forgotten, especially those of us who, you know, we can talk about all the different areas on this planet and, and how they have been governed and ruled and programmed and conditioned. Um, I'll speak right now specifically to those that are in what I will call like the more Western um, civilizations that were born in places like Australia and born in places like America. Um, one of the things that we've forgotten is that our governments and our regulatory bodies and agencies, they were put in place to serve us, to serve the people. And what's happened now is that those institutions and organizations and governing bodies, they no longer serve the people. The people are now slaves to them. And they are exercising power and control that we've essentially handed over and given to them. The only people that can take that back is us. And the only way we take that back is by making a decision to embrace our inner heretic and to choose. So what do we choose? What are we choosing to stand up for? Who are we choosing to be? Today, when you wake up and as you move through your day, who are you going to choose to be? Are you going to choose to be somebody that simply goes along with the status quo and, and is a sheep or a follower in a flock that is being led by a shepherd that is taking you and guiding you to your death? Is that who you're going to choose to be? Or are you going to make a choice that is in the highest and best good of you as a divine immortal being of light? And are you going to recognize and realize that we are so much greater than the few that are attempting to govern and manipulate us with tyranny? Our numbers are so much greater, but we have bought into the control. We have bought into the manipulation. And as a result of that, we are finding ourselves in a position of weakness but we're not actually weak and the only thing it takes to be strong is a choice the only thing it takes to be strong right now is to embrace your heretic your right to choose to say i won't conform to say i will do what's in the highest and best good of me as an individual sovereign being so, you know, and, and I want to just say here that I actually don't have an agenda about what your choice is. You may say, I choose to, I believe that the laws of the land that I'm living in and the rules of the governing bodies and institutions and organizations that I do believe that they're in my highest and best good. But I want you to make that choice for yourself. I don't want you to make that choice because you're conforming, you're complying, and you're going along with the status quo. Make that decision and make that choice regardless of what it is. You know, it may be to be to become vaccinated. It may be 
you know, to wear a mask. It may be to whatever it is, whatever that choice is, whatever that decision is, make that decision because you have tapped into your inner knowing your inner compass of truth that tells you that that is in the highest and best good for you. Because when we step into our personal sovereignty, we actually then are able to interact in our communities and in our collective in the highest and best good of the collective. When we're simply going along with things because that's what we've told, we've been told to do, or we're afraid to step outside the box, or we're afraid to think for ourselves, or we're afraid that we're going to be abandoned by our family and by our neighbors and by our community, then we're not actually doing what's in the highest and best good of us or of humanity. We have seen time and time and time again in history that compliance and going along with our governments and people in power, it ends disastrously for humanity. I can't think of a time when we went along that when we went along at the level that we're going along right now that ended positively for humanity. So it is time for us to tap into our inner warrior. It is time for us to tap into our inner heretic and make a decision that's in the highest and best good for us. You may choose that you don't want to do any of the things that your governments and the governing bodies and organizations and institutions are requiring of you. And I would say to you, if, if you are one of those people, it is time for you to stand up. It is time for you to stand up, but it's time for you to stand up for yourself first. You have to make the decision based upon what is in the highest and best good of you, your free will as a sovereign being, because it is only from that place of fully, fully understanding what your truth is and what's in full alignment with you and your divine immortal soul that you actually can even do good in the community and in the world. If you are not solid in your truth and in your convictions of who you are and what is right for you, you actually have no business going out and telling anyone else what to do for themselves, for themselves. This is one of the biggest problems that I'm seeing right now is that you've got a bunch of people pointing fingers on both sides, by the way, I, this is not like, I really want, I mean, and here's like me in my, you know, fully embodying my human design and fully embodying, you know, my, uh, the Gemini in my chart, in my mid heaven. It's like, I have the ability to see the duality. I have the ability to see both sides and what I see on both sides is many, many people who are not sure they have not tapped into their ultimate truth and their ultimate sovereignty and their ultimate knowing of what's in the highest and best good for themselves. And as a result of that, they're projecting out fear. They're projecting out fear and they are then saying you should do this to save humanity. And if you're not doing this, then you know, if you, if you are doing this, you're killing humanity. If you're not doing this, you're killing humanity. We cannot shift this reality that we're living in until we tap into our own personal sovereignty. And it's really scary. It's scary to say, I will embrace and honor my right to choose. It is scary to say, I will fully embody my heretic. It is scary to say, I will not comply simply for the sake of complying. It is scary to say, I will pioneer a new way of being, but that is what's needed right now. That is what's needed right now. Each and every one of you, regardless of what your work is that you're here to do in the world, you have the soul of a warrior. Every human on this planet has the soul of a warrior. We don't all warrior in the same ways, but we all have the soul of a warrior. We all believe ultimately in the right for humanity to thrive 
and survive, but not just survive, to thrive. That first thing that I said, to thrive at a deep, deep level, you know, that is what we came here with to this planet. We came to have this human experience. Um, and, you know, do I believe that every single one of us remained on the path towards, you know, wanting humanity to thrive? No, obviously not. I mean, we see it every single day. There are many, many people who have decided that controlling and manipulating um, humanity through programming and conditioning is quite lucrative for them. And so, you know, that's the path that they're on. But you are a warrior. And if you're listening to this podcast, you are a warrior. And if you're listening to this podcast, you already are a heretic. You just have to tap into that heretic inside of you. And really dive deeply into what is it that makes you unique? That's how we find the truth of of what we desire to be and who we desire to show up as in the world. It is in our diversity. It is in our uniqueness. Like we came to this planet to experience diversity and duality. That's why we're here. It's why we chose to incarnate at this time in, in the evolution of humanity. But I really ask you to tap into and ask yourself, what is your uniqueness? And in that uniqueness, what is the work that you're here to do in the world? How are you here to serve humanity? Our uniqueness 100% is our superpower. So over the last several months, I've had these programs dropping in, Wealth Warrior and now this new program, Heretic. And there's been, you know, I've been sitting on it and holding it and sort of allowing it to come to fruition because it's been so powerful. It's literally been showing up in all the spiritual journeys, all the meditations, you know, all the kind of deep diving into my own soul that I've been doing. Um, and so I've, I've allowed it to kind of just nurture itself and then come to fruition. And it's, it's almost time right now. And it's just so interesting how you know, this piece about heretic keeps showing up. So um, I'm getting ready to launch a business mastermind called Wealth Warrior. And this, but this heretic piece, it just keeps showing up, it keeps showing up, it keeps showing up. And um, so now I've decided that I'm actually launching a 14 day business accelerator uh, called Heretic. And it is, it's basically gonna be a boot camp style business in intensive, 14 days with me, really, really getting clear on how and why you are here right now and the work that you are meant to do for humanity and how you're meant to be serving at this time. Um, and you know, this is for renegades. This is for rule breakers. This is for heretics. This is for people who know that they are here to serve a greater good. Um, but also have an awareness that they need to get really, really aligned with who they are and why they're doing the work that they're doing and what the message is that needs to be going out to the world. So I'm super excited and over the moon about this. Um, and it will become, once it's complete, it will become an evergreen program. So if you're listening to this much later um, and this is resonating with you, uh, you will be able to participate in this as well. But um, it is currently by application and I am gonna be dropping application in the show notes for you. Um, it's two weeks with me, which is quite an intensive amount of time and there will be daily contact and touches. And so, and it's $333, uh, $333 by application. Um, again, it'll be in the show notes. If you happen to be watching on Facebook or one of the other channels, it will be in the description. Um, or you can simply just put heretic in the comment section and we'll make sure to get you the application. Uh, applications will be due by November 24th. Um, and is that right? November 24th? No, applications will be due by November 20th. And yeah, so applications will be due by November 20th. Um, and we will begin, be beginning on November 24th. So two intensive weeks of 
deep diving into tapping into and embracing your inner heretic. So in the meantime, think about who that is. Think about what you're choosing. Think about your right to choose. Think about embodying your right to choose because literally that's what this word means. The word heretic means to choose, to choose something different than the status quo, to choose something different than the beliefs of, or to choose something that is at odds with what is generally accepted right now. That's how we change. That's how we grow. That's how we evolve. That's how we shift out of this craziness that we're currently existing in, in humanity right now. So thank you for listening to uh, my heresy today. Um, remember it's your divine birthright to exercise your free will and to be wealthy in all areas of your life. And you are so worthy and you are so deserving of any life that you desire to live. And the reality of existing in that desire, it starts with a choice. So what are you choosing today? Until next time, this is Leah Steele, The Wealth Witch, signing off. Okay, so thanks everybody for being here on Facebook and listening to my podcast. <laughs> you guys just got it live. You can go back and listen to the edited version later if you choose. Um, but I needed a little uh, community inspiration. Um, and so I appreciate you guys being here with me. And yeah, so heretic uh, applications are available now, actually. I've got a couple of calls that I've got to hop on now. Um, but the application is ready. The graphics just got delivered today. They're absolute fire. Um, and, uh, yeah. So if you know that you want in on the 14 day, no bullshit business accelerator for renegade rule breakers, and you're ready to tap deeply into, you know, who you are, the work that you're here to do in the world. Um, and get a fire lit under your ass to begin doing that put heretic here in the comments and we will get you the application again it's 333 dollars for two weeks with me two intensive weeks with me um so heretic in the comments and we will make sure that you get the uh application and um yeah so that's it have an amazing rest of your day morning evening wherever you are in the world as you are watching this live stream or you are catching the replay if you are watching the live stream make sure that you put heretic if you want the application um that's how we're going to know who to so i know i see a lot of you putting like i want in just make sure you put heretic because that's what the team's going to be coming and looking for and they'll make sure that you get the application and i'll see you guys soon Mwah!